Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for January the 10th. Today is the birthday of Margaret of Austria, born in 1480. She was the second child and only daughter of Maximilian of Austria and Mary of Burgundy, co-sovereigns of the Low Countries. In 1482, she was betrothed to Louis XI of France's son, Charles, and she was raised in France. But Charles broke the engagement in 1491 and spurned Margaret. She then became the wife of Prince John, the only son of Ferdinand and Isabella, so she was actually Catherine of Aragon's sister-in-law for a time. He died shortly into the marriage, and she gave birth to a stillborn daughter after his death. In 1501, she married again to the Duke of Savoy. He also died after three years, and she vowed to never marry again. But she is most famous as the regent for the Habsburg Netherlands, where she ruled successfully for 20 years. Her court was a perfect, glittering Renaissance court, and it's where Anne Boleyn spent her formative childhood years. Margaret was intelligent, she was well-read, she was really witty. On the way to Spain, there was a terrible storm, and in the midst of being seasick and thinking she was going to drown, she wrote her own epitaph. You have to remember, she was just like a teenager at this time. And she wrote, Here lies Margaret, the willing bride, twice married, but a virgin when she died. That's just an example of her wit and her sense of humor, which I love. She also negotiated the so-called ladies' peace with Louise of Savoy, in which the women tried to get the men out of things and just talk and make peace, and they actually did come up with a treaty. She died in 1530 when one of her maids broke a glass goblet and a splinter of glass went into her foot and became gangrenous. She agreed to have her foot amputated, but she died before the operation, apparently from an overdose of opium that the doctors gave her in preparation for the amputation. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.